Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Apex Nitrox XDX50 with the DST first stage regulator. So this of course is a regulator that's been specifically built for higher concentrations of nitrox, uh, all the way up to 100%. So if you're using accelerated deco um, and sort of higher concentrations of, uh, of oxygen over 40%, then this is definitely the regulator to look at. So as you can see, it's got the, uh, the green and yellow coloration, so you can't mix it up even when you're in the water. It makes it really obvious which second stage you're about to swap to. Um, it's made in a really clean environment, so it's got special greases and special O-rings inside of it. Uh, the hose and everything is O2 cleaned, um, so you can use this for high concentration. Okay, looking at the DST first stage first. Um, <clears throat> so I really like this first stage because it has a swiveling turret. So that just allows for greater uh, sort of hose routing options. And uh, it just means there's, there's gonna be less tension on those hoses, especially if you're using it on a stage cylinder. The hose can be routed down the length of the cylinder when you're not using it. When you are using it, you just kind of pull it out and it naturally adjusts itself. Um, so then you can use it and uh, you don't have too much kind of tension on that section of the hose. So because it's Nitrox clean, you've got the, uh, the green and yellow coloration. It also will come with the M26 thread on that DIN wheel, uh, and of course only comes in the DIN variation. Uh, four low pressure ports on this swiveling turret. The only downside to it is that when a hose is fitted, it won't fit over the DIN wheel, uh, but it will go sort of the other direction. It's not a massive downside, uh, but it is something to, uh, to consider with your hose routing. Um, and when you're mounting it onto the cylinder, it won't be able to freely turn all the way around. Two high pressure ports, one on either side. Um, so if you're diving with a single cylinder or twins or with this on a stage cylinder, it's a great first stage. It's environmentally sealed, so you don't have to worry about cleaning it quite so much. The gunk and stuff isn't gonna get on the inside. It's overbalanced, so it's actually gonna get easier to breathe. Well, it, it will be able to deliver more gas the deeper down you go. Um, and then coming out of that, we have the Nitrox Clean braided uh, flexi hose from Apex. So this is a braided hose, it's a lot lighter and more flexible than the, uh, than the traditional rubber hoses as the name suggests. Uh, and we get the green uh, hose protectors as well, again, sort of following the theme, making it really obvious which second stage you're also, um, switching to. Okay, so it comes in and the first thing is, is that this little nut on the, uh, on the regulator, it actually has a blank space. And this is if you want to fit a, a bolt snap um, that's kind of done with the, with the O-ring and the, uh, the zip tie technique. If you want it really close to the second stage, that's fine. Uh, they have that section blank so you can fit that, um, uh, that bolt snap there. I tend to prefer it a little further out, but it depends on what you prefer. Then it comes into a heat sink. So these little fins uh, on the inlet to the second stage act as a big heat sink. We've got a massive um, surface area to volume ratio. So that's actually absorbing heat from the surrounding water, reducing the uh, sort of cold chilling effect of the, uh, the air rushing through. Um, so that's gonna reduce the chances of it freezing up, especially in cold water. Now this green uh, little flush in here, this is the first hint that this is an ambidextrous second stage. So a technician can actually take the entire barrel out of the, uh, the, uh, the middle of it, swap it around so that the hose routes in from the left hand side, if that's how you want it for your hose routing, and that can be done. Um, Moving to the front cover, again, green and yellow coloration makes it really uh, obvious which second stage you're using. This is a progressive purge button, so you can push it a little bit, it'll give you a little bit of gas. You push it all and it gives you lots of gas. On the other side, we have an adjustable Venturi. So that's a big um, sort of rubberized um, Venturi lever. So even if you're wearing big chunky gloves, um, you can activate that and deactivate that really easy. Um, and again, ambidextrous, we put that on the other side. Um, very useful if you're using this as a stage cylinder, so it's not free flying down to one side. Um, it will just interrupt that free flow before it um, gets really bad. We have a big metal crenellated 
Kids uh, adjustment knob. Um, so this is really easy to use even if you're wearing thick chunky gloves. Because of that grip of the crenellation and it's metal, it's really tough. Uh, you can adjust that during different points of the dive, even when you're in the water. Uh, you can dial it all the way in to make it really stiff um, when it's uh, kind of in storage. And then when you want to use it, you can unscrew it, make it a little bit lighter to breathe, do whatever you want. So the exhaust tee is a two-part adjustable um, sort of removable tee. So this is the larger of the tees. So that actually pushes it out much further away behind your mask. So it clears, um, uh, clears your mask. The bubbles just go all the way around the back. But you can swap it out for the smaller compact version to make it much rounder. Um, because again, it's nitrox, it comes in green. Um, but they're nice if you want a compact little second stage. Um, it just kind of rounds it off really easy. You can swap them back um, sort of quickly. Um, but yeah, that's an option for you. You aren't forced to have this um, sort of larger tee. The Comfort Bike mouthpiece is a lot smaller than a standard mouthpiece. Uh, it doesn't go all the way down to the back of your jaw. And um, this little bridge over the top and the way that they've kind of molded it means that you don't have to bite down very hard to hold it in position. This bridge and the shape of the mouthpiece actually holds it in your mouth without having to bite down very hard, which means that you're not going to get jaw fatigue, especially on longer dives. Um, so all in all, it's a very smart regulator. Um, this is one of my favorite configurations because of that swivel turret. Uh, the XTX50 is tried and tested all around the world. It's a real super tough um, second stage and you get really nice smooth breathe. It's pneumatically balanced, so it always gives you just a nice breathe. This is the Apex Nitrox version of the XTX50 with a DST first stage. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.